as with many youth on the African continent, football has grown in popularity, especially as peace and stability have begun to return to the war-torn nation. Young people represent over 70% of the country's population. As such, they will play a key role in rebuilding the country in years to come. That is the mission of the organizers of this year's inaugural annual Peace Day Cup, who held the tournament's first match yesterday in the Somali capital. There are two reasons uh, for today's match, I think. The first is that this is the month of peace. And on the 21st of September is International Peace Day. And today, the trophy they are playing for is the Peace Trophy. And Somalia is one country which is now beginning to enjoy peace and it needs more and more peace. So today we will cheer for peace. Nationwide activities are expected in the run-up to the International Peace Day, starting with a fixture at the Benadir Stadium. The country's conflict has taken its toll on the country's football. Somalia is ranked 204th globally and is the second last ranked team on the African continent. But the sport's popularity is seen as the target focus in bringing youth together. The role of the football is very clear. And football is a piece that is everybody knows. Football is a key to use for the peace. Football is the key to use for the younger generation to show the direction of the peace. So, and football is a totally a peace. In the end, Benadir FC emerged victors, beating fellow Somali league club side Elman FC on penalties after a two-all draw in normal time. The cup, which is organized by the Somali Football Federation in conjunction with the UN Assistance Mission in Somalia, is primed to be an annual affair and was part of further activities ongoing in different parts of the country as part of the Day of Peace celebrations. Mahe Mutua, CCTV.